Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, uh, I suppose uh, it's... Um it's still early mornings uh, back in Zambia. Um, I am getting updates of what is happening um, uh, with JJ. Um, I don't want to give too much details. I will not give you too much details. But what I, what I can tell you is that uh, JJ was dumped uh, somewhere there in, uh, in Kafue. Um, that's where he was dumped. And um, somehow he managed to, uh, you know, get the attention of, of people and uh, he was taken into uh, the hospital in Kafue. But there at Kafue uh, uh, Hospital, the families were concerned. Their concern is that, um, you know, they don't know what they will do to JJ. They are concerned, they are scared that, you know, if JJ... Uh, stays in a government hospital they they are not sure what they can do to him and of course generally you also we also know I mean government hospitals have got limited facilities and uh, most of the times when you want a good service we usually go to a private so they decided that they bring him to, to Lusaka but then along the way they thought it would be good if he goes to a private hospital where you can get, you know, all the uh, facilities, and you know that uh, uh, that that would help him to recover uh, as soon as possible. So he was uh, taken to Midlands, and uh, there at Midlands, of course, the police have been with JJ since uh, you know he was picked. The police have been very close with JJ. They are not leaving him. It is like he. He's been taken like he's a suspect. So anyway, he was taken to Midlands. At Midlands, uh, the police insisted that no, they should uh, take him to another hospital. Those who were there, a number of MPs were there, uh, Brian Mundubile, um, Emmanuel Mwamba, uh, and among other, uh, you know, PF members and members of parliament, as well as relatives to JJ, they were around. And the police, of course, they were also there. At first, they had more than, you know, 30 police officers around JJ, more than 30 police officers. But then they started arguing because there, were, there, there is an instruction that came specifically, an instruction which came in specifically to say JJ has to be taken into uh, a government facility and these people were concerned because they are running away they are concerned about jj's welfare but government by upnd they have insisted they even woke up the minister of home affairs jack Mimbu was there he had to come so there was tug of war them claiming jj that jj should be in a government facility the family members saying, no, we want him to be here where we are sure he's going to receive adequate medical attention. But they are insisting. And it, came, it, went, it became, the situation became so bad that they, they, they started roughing up the, 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 the staff at, uh, at Midlands, you know, the nurses, the doctors, they were being roughed up and they were being threatened that they will lock them up, that they will arrest them because they were resisting to say this person is not okay. This person is ill, he's very ill. Let's attend to him. Maybe later on you can get him. 
and they threatened to lock up all the health workers. They really traumatized everybody around. And what is interesting is that, you know, they, they are trying to conceal something. They are trying to conceal something. They are trying to hide something to an extent that they started grabbing the phones. They started grabbing the phones of everybody. They grabbed it, even the phone from Emmanuel Mwang. All those who had phones who were trying to take pictures, they grabbed the phones. Why are they grabbing the phones? And this, these are the questions that I want to pose, uh, you know, to, 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 to the government and to you people to think about. The first thing is, why is the apprehension? Why is the apprehension around JJ? Why are the police, you know, trying to, to be around JJ like he's a criminal? This is a person that was abducted for goodness sake. This is a person that was abducted for goodness sake. And they are around him like he's a criminal. They are treating him like he's a criminal. Sick as he may be. People have, um, uh, you know, they have, they have, they have, told, they have told me, uh, you know, they, it's, it's bad the way they have done him. It's bad. The way they have done him, I'm telling you, when you look at some of the pictures on how they have tortured JJ, you can't believe it. And what is interesting is that that kind of torture, that kind of torture of screwdrivers, you know, in the legs, you know, uh, you know, up here in the, I don't know what you call, mutu parfum, you know, and uh, in the ribs, it is professional torturing. JJ was being tortured by professionals. It is not the abrupt cadres because we were thinking, no, just cadres. No, no, no. Cadres beat. They will make you swell. They will make you, you start bleeding. But the way they tortured him, they tortured him in such a way that, you know, you will not see blood. But a person will be in pain. That is the situation in which JJ is, which is very clearly showing that JJ was being held by professionals by professionals and then from there now he has come out they are surrounding him they don't want JJ to speak you fools who are trying to say let JJ talk the police your police are stopping JJ from talking they don't want JJ to talk to anyone why? they don't want JJ to talk to the family members why? They don't want JJ to talk to anyone. But Mwaire Pafi, let me tell you this, Mwaire Pafi, JJ, before he was, he was picked by those people, there were people that, uh, that reached before him. That reached before him, and he has given something. Even pictures have been taken in a Kunonjike, as far as I am, I've received the pictures, but I'm not going to release them now. I'm not going to release them now, but there are people that took pictures of him, of his injuries, and he has actually spoken. He even spoke about, uh, I mean, what was happening in the car when they were dumping him. So, the information that you are trying to conceal, we already have it. The information that you are trying to conceal on JJ, we have the information. JJ has already spoken. He has spoken, and even me, I mean, I'm here, hello, I'm here, thousand miles away from home. I know everything that is happening. So don't think that I'm bluffing or whatever. I know. You were getting pictures. You wanted to arrest the, uh, the, uh, the officer in charge, the, de the director of Midlands. Eh? Those police officers, you wanted to arrest the people that, uh, that were there. So we know what is happening. Don't waste your time. Don't think that, you know, you are going to uh, confuse JJ, whether Mumu Pelemiti or whatever, whatever. We know what is happening. We know what is happening. Before you arrive, you know it. Before you arrive, there were people that JJ, uh, who, who took care of JJ. And he, he has spoken. It's not that he hasn't spoken. He has spoken to the people that were close to him. So, and everything will come to light. It is just a matter of time. Everything will come to light. You are talking now. Is he is there? He's having dinner with Ed Zalungu. JJ has the full story. And at the right time, he will tell the story. 
And yes, you have taken him. Now they have taken him, JJ. They have taken him into a military hospital, Maina Soko. They have taken JJ into a military hospital, Maina Soko, so that they can protect, they, they, can, they can, you know, surround him in trying to conceal what JJ is going to reveal. They have taken him to a military hospital. Right now, JJ is at a military hospital and highly guarded, highly guarded, highly guarded. They don't want anyone to see JJ. But like I'm telling you, Mwaloveria Uma, Mwaloveria Uma, you, you messed up. You messed up. The only thing that I can say is that, thank God, he's alive. You didn't kill him. That is, that is, that is something that we appreciate. But as if, even as he is in your custody, as he is in your custody, please don't harm him. You have already done enough. You have already done enough. Let the man, uh, you know, leave. Let the man uh, recuperate. Let him heal. And all these things will fall. We thank you that you didn't kill him. That is that one. I am thanking you that you didn't kill him. At least that one we thank you. But now that he has, now that you have released him, don't harm him anymore. Don't harm him anymore. Let him recu recuperate. And for those of you who are telling a story, JJ is alive. He will live to tell the story. He will live to tell the story. Part of it he has shared with those that you know he managed to speak to. Part of it he will be able to share with uh, he has shared with some of the people some of them they have taken the pictures they took some pictures of the injuries so even that we will release uh, in due course i will come back later on and i'm insisting tonight inshallah i will come back at 20 hours and if there will be anything in between i will update you i'll continue updating you that is my job that is what i'm that's why i'm here that's why god brought me here you know, it was a blessing in this guys because now I can freely update you, I can freely tell you, you know, the evil intent of the UPND government without them reaching me. And all those of you Kosuezi who are talking, hey, we'll get you, we'll get you. You will not manage to get me. Cheers to you. Have a breakfast and we'll talk later at 20 hours. Thank you very much. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.